Hey there, fellow tacticians. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell because the more likes and subscriptions I get, the more people see my conservative content, which will make America a better place and angers the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. Now we do have an extra special treat for you, Laura. I know that you're going to get a chuckle out of this. Um, you know, one of the most, the symbol of Christmas really is Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. And okay. I, at Christmas, kids, you know, write letters and put all their deepest wishes and desires into them because they're wanting Santa. And, you know. I mean, I do. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. My Look, my mom told me when I was little, Caleb, if you do not believe, you do not receive. Ergo, I still believe in Santa Claus. I mean, I do, too. I mean, I have not given up. No, me either. So, apparently, we're not the only ones. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, a lot of Democrats, evidently. Oh. They have also written their letters to Santa Claus, and uh, because this is tactics, where we make things happen, we have actually intercepted, apparently, the uh, security at the United States Postal Service is not real great. Uh, so, Imagine that. <laughs> I know, right? Not this election. Yeah, I, th I think, um, you know, we also got a few ballots. Uh, mm -hmm. kidding, kidding, John Merrill, don't arrest me for voter fraud. Um, <laughs> so we're, we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at the Democrats' letters to Santa. Hello, Santa. It's that time of year again when I ask you to please bring Bill enough hookers to keep him out of my hair. I really need your help this year because since I had to whack, I mean, since the unfortunate passing of our dear friend Jeffrey Epstein, whom we would never harm, it's been hard to find enough young women. I had several other things I wanted to ask for, but I emailed that list and now I can't find it. Merry Christmas, Empress Kankholz. Dearest Santa Claus, I know you're tired of hearing this because I ask every year, but can you please send me some kind of cream to fix my face sag? Yesterday, I tripped on my left cheek. Also, I'd like to ask if you could send a few nuclear warheads to Iran. I know they're on your naughty list, but could you do it anyway for my sake? If you give the nukes to them, they won't be able to blame me for Iran having them. Reporting for duty, John Carey. Santa! As you know, I've always been a bit jealous of my little brother for getting to be on TV all the time. I guess the joke's on him now that I have an Emmy for my acting on TV and now he doesn't. But I really do love him and I want the best for him, so I'd like to ask that we can get the whole family together and the media not find out about it like they did for my big family Thanksgiving with my 80-year-old mother. Who knew the peasants would actually expect me to follow my own laws like some kind of lowly commoner? I'm also running low on lilac hand sanitizer, so send me some more of that, please. Do you also use your prisoners to bottle that? Oops, sorry, I meant to say elves. The thing I'd like to ask for the most is that you get people to stop asking about the real nursing home COVID statistics. It's so frustrating. Don't they know I changed the way we count them to make New York look better? Why are they trying to undo that to make me, I mean New York, look bad? Godfather, Andrew Cuomo. Greetings, comrade. I've always admired your tireless efforts at furthering our shared socialist agenda by giving away free toys for nothing. I am pleased to report that the plan is working and now people are expecting to get everything for free well into their 30s and 40s. For Christmas this year, I'd really like another big beach house and fancy yacht to throw big parties in. Now I know these gifts are far more extravagant than the ones you normally give out and just remind people that I'm also part of the 1%. But, as a fellow socialist like you knows, in socialism, everyone is equal, but some citizens are more equal than others. Death to capitalism! Bernie Sanders. Dear Mr. Claus, 
Well, it seems like you didn't give me what I asked for last year since I'm not the president-elect right now, but I still thought it couldn't hurt to ask again this year. I have several things I'd like, including a tomahawk, eagle feather headdress, and some way to fake a 23andMe test. Also, I feel like I should ask for maybe some kind of bear or something. That will make me seem folksy, right? I'd really love some new big corporate donors, but can you keep that just between us? I'd hate for the voters to think I don't mean what I say about taking out corporations just because most of my campaign money comes from them. Merry Christmas, Princess Boring Horse. Santa baby, since I'm already vice president, there's really only one last thing to ask for. Normally, when I want a better job, I just have to sleep with someone. But there's no way to do that this time since the only man that outranks me only likes 12-year-old white girls. That's not too surprising considering he said that attractive smart black people only exist in fairy tales. Anyway, since I can't use my lady parts for this, I was wondering if I could ask you for some type of poison that's odorless, tasteless, and completely untraceable. I searched Amazon for Iocane powder, but nothing came up. So I was thinking you could help me out? Not for any particular reason. I'm just doing some research on the issue. I'd never actually use it on anyone. <laughs> Love, Kamala Namala. Hey, you misogynist pig. I like don't want anything from you because you're a cisgendered white male and represent everything that's wrong with this patriarchal system. Like, seriously, the nerve of you like even thinking women can't even like get presents for themselves shows what a hypocrite you are. If you came into my house to leave presents, that's literally the same as rape. If you were really a saint, you would be like breaking into rich people's houses and taking their stuff they got by exploiting the working class and redistributing it to poor people. That's what my faith teaches me to do. Instead, you use slave elf labor to make toys with corporate sponsorship, just like every other greedy capitalist. I like can't even with you. The only comfort I have is that in just 10 years, the earth will become so hot that your home in the North Pole will be melted away. I like so hope you drown. Feliz Navidad, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, look fat, I wanted you to know I already got the thing that I wanted most this year. I won my election to the United States Senate. I'll represent the people of, of New York well. And I promise to do my best to protect all Americans. I mean, the ones that voted for me at least. Because I believe that all men are created equal, endowed by, uh, you know the thing. Anyway, I don't want much this year. Just send me a couple of 12 year old girls to sniff and a snazzy new boot for my ankle and I'll be satisfied. Oh, and maybe some lotion for my hairy legs. And if you don't bring me what I want, then you ain't black. Come on, man. I'm not asking for much. This has been a really tough year for me with being criticized for the crime bill I passed last month and Clarence Thomas being confirmed to the Supreme Court. I just really think it would be nice if you could... Uh... Uh... Who stopped? Happy Easter, Corn Pop. Yeah, guys, hope you got a real kick out of that last segment. We had a lot of fun making. It was actually an idea for my friend Jordan. She kind of had the initial thought, and then I just kind of rolled with it and turned it into a segment. So hopefully you enjoyed that. <laughs> People ask me all the time, Caleb, how do you stay in such great shape? Well, let me tell you, it's not easy. The Secret is a steady diet consisting mostly of likes and subscriptions, especially the ones where the person hits the notification bell. That's what actually gives me my superhuman strength. Likes, as it turns out, are very high in protein and iron. 
sadly doesn't do anything for your hair.